What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Nikki here and in today's video you guys I am going to be going over my entire $15,000 stock portfolio for dividend investing for the long-term investing. So you guys let's get it All right, you guys, so I am going to try to keep this as quick as possible, but you know, it may be a little bit long, so maybe grab a drink, grab a snack, get you comfortable, and let's go ahead and let's start diving into this portfolio. Now, a few things, just really quick. One, you guys, I began my investing last December. I believe it was like December 17, whoa. Literally one year from today. Just, let's just, Wow, this is wild. I didn't even plan that. That's pretty cool, you guys. So this is officially, I think it was the 17th. It could have been like the 16th or 18th, but we're gonna go with the 17th because I just had a moment. So this is basically my one year of stock investing, my $15,000 dividend portfolio that I originally started in Robinhood, but I then transferred into E-Trade. And you guys just saddle up. I mean, I think there's like 40-ish stocks in there and we will go through it. And also at the end, I will throw up a spreadsheet that kind of shows shows you like the sectors, my diversification. I'll show you my annual dividends that I've received for a year minus December, cause that's gonna be in another video. So if you wanna see that, make sure you are subscribed. And just kind of show you an overall picture of just what kind of a crazy year it's been. But $15,000 was a goal of mine for 2020. Super happy that I hit that. Hopefully in the next few weeks, we don't take too much, but either way, I have hit that milestone for myself. 2021 is going to be absolutely stunning but let's go ahead and let's get into this portfolio so as you guys can see here i have fifteen thousand six hundred twelve dollars and thirty four cents in my e-trade dividend portfolio you can also see today today yesterday the day before was honestly pretty sideways in the market like look at that freaking horizontal line right there like not even a percent half a percent but you can also see here my cash i'm starting to build up my cash so when we do have a little bit of a pullback day or certain stocks fall a little bit more I may be adding some more before the end of the month actually so stay tuned for that you already know to drill but you can also see here my total gain is almost 28% and now for a dividend portfolio I think that's a very good <laughs> return for total considering that's basically my one year at this point since it's only been a year and uh, let's go ahead and get into the actual portfolio so all right you guys so I'm going to start at the top here at Apple you can see the quantity so how many shares I have and then you can see my average price paid and we'll just go down the damn line so apple 10 shares at an average cost of 85 dollars and 27 cents next is abv three shares at an average cost of 91 dollars and 19 cents age x kind of a stupid play but if you've been with me you already know why so i just hold it who knows we'll see what happens but i have 105 shares at an average cost of 98 cents and they're currently at like i don't even know a dollar and 65 cents so I'm up decently but I don't know don't recommend <laughs> coming in after that is American Express one of my favorite financials six shares at an average cost of $91.89 then Best Buy one share only at $85.95 you can see here like it's currently at over a hundred bucks and I really wanted it to fall under a hundred for me to add more. I'm afraid maybe that may not happen. We'll have to see maybe after the holidays, but we'll see about that. Definitely want to add more. Definitely pretty long-term on Best Buy. Then we have Biohaven Pharmaceutical. My average price is 53.42. And you guys at the end of the video on the spreadsheet, you can kind of see where they're currently trading. It's difficult on E-Trade. It's not as easy as Robinhood to kind of like see what it's at, where I'm at, my gain, all that stuff. So I will go over that on the spreadsheet. So if you're interested in that, make sure you stay tuned to see the end with the spreadsheet so you can see all that good stuff but right now i'm just going over what i have and how many shares of it that i have with my average cost citigroup see right there i have 10 shares at an average cost of 48 dollars 59 then comcast eight shares at 41 dollars 77 then cody cody i don't even know what that is to be honest with you what let me let me see what is this what is this yeah 
I don't even know, but I got it as a free stock from someone using Robinhood link, which is down below in the description if you don't have a portfolio at this point. I don't, I mean, but you get a free stock, I get a free stock. Bada boom, bada bang. And then there's Cisco. I have 10 shares at $43.99. And then CVS, five shares at $65.07. Discover Financial, five shares at $49.52. Honeywell, only one share at $143.86. It's above $200 now, so I don't know. That's hefty. J&J, two shares at $143.20. I want to get this to five shares as quickly as possible, but we'll see. JP Morgan, four shares at $92.71. Coca-Cola, 11 shares at $45.88. Lowe's, only one share. Oh, I almost just stuck that up my nose. <laughs> but I only have one share, it's unfortunate, but I'll add more for an average cost of $154.40. McDonald's, two shares at $190.20. Medtronic, three shares at $98.14. Microsoft, two shares at $186.57. Nike, two shares at $96.56. NRZ is new residential investment. I think, yeah, new residential. What the hell? Yeah, I was right. New residential investment. <laughs> I have 25 shares at an average price of $8.47. Oh, for that O Realty, that sweet monthly dividend income paying stock, only four shares. <laughs> I have an average cost of $58.49. You guys, it's actually very eye-opening to like go through the whole entire portfolio and see like how many shares of something that I have. Like I love O Realty, I'm obsessed. And I only have four shares. Like girl, you've got to be adding some more. That's on the agenda. We trying to get that to 10 as soon as possible. If you do the same thing, like you got your portfolio and you actually like look at it and then you realize like, oh, I really like this. Why don't I have more? And you like forget about it for some reason. Like I don't, there's just too many good ones. There's just not, I just don't have enough money. Really the problem, that's what's going on. But if you can relate, can you please let me know down below because I just like scroll over my baby sometimes I just forget about him. We can't we cannot do that in 2021 <laughs> Then we have okay e one oak 20 shares in an average cost of 3466 ORC another free one that I got from Robin Hood for five dollars and eighty six cents But I actually didn't pay for that. So I don't know why it has an average cost there for me I don't really know how that go away <laughs> Then we have my I shouldn't say my favorite is one of my favorites Pepsi four shares at one hundred twenty seven dollars and eighty seven cents Pfizer, seven shares, $35.92. PSEC, another free one from Robinhood. Peloton, six for $25.71. Now, Peloton. I messed up, okay? I messed up. You already know my sob story, but let me hit you with it real quick. So, I had 11 shares of Peloton at that same average cost, and when Peloton hit like $55, I sold six of them. Now it's like $130. I don't I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I'm a little upset and uh, that just goes to show I didn't really know what I was doing at the time. But if Peloton comes back to reality, maybe around the $100 mark or $99, $95, I'll be adding more because I am a long-term Peloton holder. I just think it's extremely inflated. Moving right along, you guys, I have Raytheon RTX, seven shares at 61.20. SPYD, 15 shares at 30.12. SPYG, seven shares at 39.23. SPYV, five shares at 31.08. If you know me, you guys know those are my absolute favorite three ETFs, okay? If you want a video as to why, or you know, any of that sort of information, let me know down below and I'll whip it up for y'all. Then we have another amazing monthly paying REIT in Stag Industrial, 10 shares at 30.60. AT&T, love ya. 20 shares at 3206. Target coming in at three shares at 104.47. Verizon, five shares at 58.41. Wendy's, three shares, $16.68. And another one of my favorites, Waste Management, four shares for $100.16. So you guys, that is all 39 of my long-term dividend investing stocks, my dividend portfolio, my long-term portfolio. And uh, I will be adding some more names to it. I have my eye on a few, but we'll see how it goes. I may end up buying a little bit more this month. We will see, but make sure you are subscribed because I will be making an overall video of the stocks that I bought in December for you. So make sure you already hit that button. But you guys, let's go ahead, let's jump into the dang spreadsheet so you can kind of get a visual of kind of how I'm diversified, what percent makes up what. Just get the good old shit out there for you. All right, you guys, so you're gonna see on the screen here my screen recording for you and hopefully you see my little face down in the corner because I don't know, hopefully I figure out how to do this. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you the screen recording right now and you can kind of see what I have going on here. So if I scroll up to the top, there we go, see there's 
Apple right there, Abvi, AJX, and you can see the shares that I have, my average cost I paid for them, the cost basis, the market value, my personal gain or loss in dollars on it, and then you can see the growth of it in percentage. And then you can see like kind of, there's like a stock chart on how it did the last 200 days, 50 days, and 20 days. And I actually really enjoy this and I haven't really looked at it that much, but I do like it because you can kind of see a trend in the last 20 or so days to kind of see if maybe the stock will give you more of a buying opportunity or not. So it kind of helps, but I don't look at it honestly that much. And then if you come over here, you can see kind of the sector that it's in, the market price, and then it tells you how much of a dividend I'm getting annually from it. The highlighted boxes here are like the next dividend is going to be paid to me on that day. So the ones in December right now are highlighted. So that's kind of cool to see. And I know a lot of you have asked me about the spreadsheet before, but it's just, it's literally, you can see here, it's Andre. So I pay the $8 a month for Andre just to have this spreadsheet. That's really it. That's why I pay the money because this keeps me very organized and I just, I just appreciate it. So you can see here, mostly on my gains and my growth, like I'm pretty green in everything because <laughs> I got serious about investing like February, March, which is right when everything started to tank from Corona. So it's like, I bought in mostly at pretty good points, but the one that I'm still red in is actually AT&T. My average cost on AT&T is $32 and it's currently at like 29 bucks. Whatever, I don't care. But I like this because on the bottom here, we can go to diversification chart. Diversification, diversification chart. And you can kind of see that diversification, but I don't really like the numbers and stuff. I'm more of a visual person, so this works better for me. So you can see the sector and you can see how much annual income I'm making from that sector. But you can also see kind of like where I'm really more heavily invested. So energy is weirdly the highest just because OKE in the story I have with that. Don't worry about it. but. It wasn't on purpose, but you can see here, telecommunications is up there. I honestly thought technology was gonna be way higher because Apple is my biggest holding, but it is what it is. Pretty heavy in financials, pretty heavy obviously in the energy and telecommunications because I was really going after that AT&T dividend for a while. The energy, like I mentioned, was kind of a mistake, but also they were pretty good prices because of the drop. Same with financials, healthcare as well. So I was kind of just playing the cards I was dealt, but I really like this visual because you can kind of see where I'm at. But I really like this one because this one shows you exactly what percent of what company I have in my portfolio. So I never want to be too invested in one company. And you can obviously see Apple is 8.3% of my portfolio, which is a little high. I'd like things to be no more than 5%, but it's Apple and I'm obsessed with it and I don't really care. So there you go. But you can just kind of see here on this chart how diversified I am in these companies and how much weight these companies hold in my portfolio. So I'm not going to go through every single one because you can look, but I mean, Target's 3.3%. We got McDonald's at almost 3%. Microsoft at almost 3%. Peloton at 5.3%. So this does kind of help me measure like how much I'm invested in one specific company. So I really, really like that for this. And then you can see the summary here, my total cost basis, my market value, my growth, the dividend yield I have, the annual dividends I have coming in. And then if you watch any of my dividend paycheck videos, you know this part of the spreadsheet is lovely because i have it by month so obviously we've kind of come a long way from the five dollars and the one dollars from january and february december i will make a video and upload that in uh, the next week week and a half or whatever currently at about 210 dollars for this year but you already know this graph love it love to see it grow love to see what it's doing and uh yeah that's the spreadsheet you guys some of you wanted to see that so there you go it's a beautiful thing it really is all right, y'all, so that is my $15,000 stock market portfolio update, review, reveal, whatever. Super excited to share that with you guys. You guys have been on this journey with me. If you've been here kind of from the beginning, let me know down below. Also, y'all, if you would please do your girl a favor, smash the damn thumbs up button. It would mean the world to me. And if you are not subscribed, what is you doing? Hit that red subscribe button down there, or you can hit the NB in the bottom of the corner. I do post two videos a week on this channel about stocks, money, investing, the good stuff. I just like to make money and have a good ass time. If you are into that, we would love to have you. And you already know if you made it this far in the video, you are the real MVP. Come here, you know I love you. And like always, guys, enjoy the journey. Whatever your journey is, always remember to do it such your heart on fire, and I better see y'all, every single one of you, in my next video. Bye, guys.